Okay. And then part C. A is 1. Kita dah sedar apa kita tadi. Satu C adalah 5. Okay. Kemudian tengok jawapan dia. 4 I DC over N pi N equals to 1. Therefore, kita dapat 12.7. Sama tak dengan jawapannya? Sama kita ni. 12.73. In explanation, ini jawapan ataupun theoretical calculation. Uh, this is theoretical calculation. Prediction kita. This is simulation result. And both agrees. Eh? Agrees with the simulation results. Ataupun simulation results agree with the theoretical calculation. And uh, untuk third harmonics. Eh? Third harmonics 4.244. So tengok balik. Untuk ini kita klik ke sini. 4.24. Eh? Tepat eh. And then check balik. 2.546. Klik ke sini lagi. 2.56. Okay. Right. Itu uh, di soalan number 2. Question 2 which is on the uncontrolled rectifier. So, uh, so again. Uh, satu isu on the square wave. Dia yeah, you kena soalan dia. Kena, kena anticipate lah. Kena jangkakan yang akan naik. Uh, satu lagi source inductance. Uh, ataupun kita ada uh, apa dia source inductance uh, half wave eh apa perbezaan half wave dengan full wave apa power eh? what is a power calculation uh, power equation kalau you, you diberikan dengan uh, information yang tertentu apa dia kena dia key point dia dia kena you kena uh, faham apa input yang diberi apa information-information yang diberi. Right? Untuk menjawab soalan. Okay. Itu untuk question number 2. Okay. Untuk question number 3. <coughs> question number 3 are on the control rectifier. Okay. A single phase control bridge rectifier is constructed to supply to DC voltage VDC and 9 amp ripple free current IDC to a very large inductive load. Ah, dia dah bagi tahu dah. Right. Ah, uh, connected to uh, and supply 9 ampere ripple free current to a very large inductive load. Maksudnya dia output tu dia dah ada uh, kita replace, kita model eh, bukan replace. Kita model dengan uh, constant current with a value of 9 amps. The recti rectifier is connected to a single phase 230 volt 50 hertz input is supply but now the input side the voltage supply is now changed to 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply by taking the source inductance LS into considerations VDC can be represented as in equation 3.1 so what does it mean now we need to consider the case of the source inductance uh -huh. The addition of source inductance in practical, there is a, always a source or supply inductance in the front end of the rectifier. So we need to consider this. So it's already uh, given here the equation of the output voltage, the average of output voltage. And it has to be 2 over pi V peak cos alpha minus omega LS IDC. Okay, where alpha is the firing angle, omega is the angular frequency in hertz. Uh, oh, oh, salah ni. It should be in radian. Omega is the angular frequency in radian. It has to be in radian, not hertz. Okay. And V peak is the peak amplitude of instantaneous AC supply voltage VST. If the commutation interval U, you already given the commutation angle or interval or the overlapping angle of 5.05, .05, answer all the following question. So, Number one, explain briefly why the instantaneous output voltage VLT of the rectifier is zero during the commutation interval. So we all, we all, we give you the hint, sketch the circuit with proper labeling of the transistor in order to explain. So which means uh, you, you have to sketch the, uh, the circuit and label properly. So when you explain and you can Actually, uh, with respect to when you explain, try to explain what happens during each uh, instant, then you can refer to the diode, uh, the label of the diode. So it's easier for the reader to understand your explanations. 
Okay, let's finish it. All right, B, sketch and label the steady state instantaneous supply current, IS, output voltage, V out, and output current, I not, with for, for at least one cycle. Show, where it's you. So, biasalah, eh? normal, you have to sketch all the waveforms. Uh, C, based on B, derive a mathematical equation of U. All right, uh, I think everything is in the note. Just uh, reply, uh, refer back to the note, the monograph, and how to derive for the equation U. And finally, the application type. This is application type of questions. By using 3.1, your answer in C, calculate the DC output power. PDC. PDC has to be VDC multiplied by IDC. Is it? So you have to get the output voltage, the average of the output voltage. And then you just simply multiply with the output current given to you, which is, in this case, it is 9N. Is it? 9N. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's look at the uh, solution. Okay. So this is solution. Explain briefly. So you just sketch or uh, uh, draw the circuit with LS and you have S1, S2, S3, S4. Or sometimes you probably want to use a T eh? as a thyristor. Thyristor 1, thyristor 2, thyristor 3, thyristor 4. And then uh, you can. Yes, you had you can uh, uh, draw the R plus L, or you can simply draw the current inside here. Okay, you can also do that if you like. Okay, you can also do that because you already mentioned that you already have a. 9 amps current flowing at the output side instead of so you can either uh, put in the r plus l or you can draw the current source at the output with the 9 amps right so what happens during okay, during commutation interval all thrusters okay because of the uh, because of this source inductance it delay the turn on and turn off of S1 and S3 <coughs> whereby in during this time we're going to see the S1 and S3 on in, uh, instant uh, sorry uh, simultaneously eh? S1 and S3 are on simultaneously because there is still a current flowing in both uh, thyristors okay so that also happens in S4 and S2. Okay, so that's why the explanation here shows us during competition interval, all thrusters are turned on simultaneously. When all thrusters are in on state, the output terminal of the rectifier appears as a short circuit. So this is on, this is also on, on state, on state. So you know that this is totally a short circuit point between that point and that point and therefore your load here will be seeing a zero voltage is it yeah, it's a short circuit so that's why it is zero right then part b sketch and label uh, just uh, refer to the, uh, the note supply voltage and then you have the idc this is our input current okay input current idc minus idc but in between <coughs> there is an overlap phenomena okay there is an overlap phenomena so during that overlapping period you see that the output voltage is zero okay this is zero and this is idc the output okay draw that and get a full mark, a full mark. and finally uh, just refer to the monograph i think it's a straightforward you derive it and then you get the um, you will get the output uh, no the u eh? to the computation interval or the overlapping angle which is given by this equation and then with that equation then you can find vdc with a given equation 3.1 just now then you can use the equation and then it's just simply vdc multiplied by idc so that will give you the output DC 
power of 1.62 uh, which is multiplied by 10 3 this is 1620 watt okay so this is question number three Okay, so that's uh, very much uh, the first video <coughs> on uh, tutorial one. Uh, I'm going to have we going to have another video. Uh, I'm going to look at more uh, questions uh, from the past test or from past exam. Okay, uh, wait for the second video. Uh, Shall tomorrow. Okay, thank you.